Well, my name is uh, Luis Alberto Alcantara Chavez. I'm from Mexico. Um, I'm a geologist from the National School of Anthropology and History from Mexico City. Uh, first, thanks to the committee for this young research in archaeometry and for let me make this presentation on my deal. My English is not very good. And that is why I consider this time of presentation better so that it's uh, more fluent. I mean, so here uh, I will be present in case there is any comment uh, of, of my work. Um, so I will present, well, my presentation titled Archaeodata, a free database of radiocarbon results from archaeological sites in Mexico. Um, my first title is uh, Database for the Recopilation, but I think that in English, don't exist the word recopilation of recompilation, I don't know, but it's a free database of radiocarbon results from uh, archaeological sites. So um, one of the most important aspects in archaeological research is to locate the study site temporally in order to better understand the ideological, political, and social aspects that were carried out in the past. Science will largely be um, discovery into radiocarbon dating in the, in the 50s. Archaeology has set a course towards the application of absolute dating, where from organic materials recovered in the field, an interval, and an interval is, uh, of time is established uh, in which an organ is dated. From this information, it relates to the archaeological context and make interpretation of them, make interpretation of them. Through the second half of 20th century, more archaeometric dating uh, methods were integrated, such as studies of uh, archaeomagnetism or paleomagnetism, thermoluminescence, uh, obsidian dotation, among others. Over the years, archaeometric dating became more present to such an extent that in Europe represent a paradigm crisis for prehistory studies like uh, the book Before Civilization uh, from Colin Renfrew. Uh, in Latin America, dating war was extended during the 50s and the 60s. Uh, in Mexico, uh, this is the first radiocarbon laboratory in 1958 in the uh, Institute of Physics at uh, the National University of Mexico. In the 19s, a radiocarbon dating laboratory has already been implemented and operational at INA. And other laboratories such as thermoluminescence, archaeomagnetics, uh, paying operations at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, but uh, more recently in 2013, uh, this was installed the AMS Radiocarbon Laboratory in Mexico. Uh, well, all these advances since the 50s have had an impact on a large amount of data of vast archaeological sites in Mexico and in Latin America. However, such data are scared through various articles, dissertations, books, reports, which not all archaeologists. No, as a vast bibliographic reference is needed to cover the results of previous archaeological projects. Um, for example, this is the form that archaeologists uh, around the history, around the uh, around the war. Uh, the first uh, is for the Carbon Journal, and others from Latin American journals, and this is uh, where. Some authors have made efforts to retrieve that data and publish it in recent articles or chapters, but the information is still collected in tables with the interaction is null. From this analysis, Archaeodata was born in order to unify this large amount of data and information about archaeometric dating and make it public so that archaeologists around the world can access the information previously published by archaeological projects. For example, uh, in other countries, uh, their own 
have their own database. And Mexican archaeology has not focused on creating tools that favor research. For example, the ESOARCH or the EDARC from, from the radiocarbon results. Um, well, this is a Archaeodata website uh, from archaeodata.com. And I present this app web. Is the top menu from the home, the options to, to actions, the menu of the of the user, which can others um, configuration, other things. And this is from the language. This is in English. So this is the main page. It is the, the dashboard with the social networks and about other information. But this is the search, the button search. With this, uh, the user uh, search, you find sorry, uh, filters. And for example, search terms about the archaeological site, the country, the state, the site, uh, the period of the of the samples, the context, uh, the material, the institution of provenance for for the excavation and the research, the year of collection of the sample, the technique, the laboratory um, from the investigator who collected of or the authors of the bibliography. So if you uh, don't enter any, any params, you click in search and the system uh, returns an, all existing records in the database. And this is the um, basic information or a sample. The date, the error, the K-Lab, the material, the technique, the site, and the year of publication. Uh, you can search in uh, params in these tables independent to the others. This, for example, Cantona is a archaeological site in Mexico, and this filters from Cantona site. So for this is these filters is a search in the search <laughs> um, uh, right um and this button of the of the right side in in this table arrows uh, show more information about the sample like the collection year the shipping year who collect who send the context the period the place in this in this case, you can see well other for example, Cantona other again, Cantona this, and this is collection year, unspecified shipping year, unspecified uh, who sent is an author, but for example in this case the map, and you see a map with the location site, location of, of the site Cantone, La, the laboratory, the carbon 13, if, if, if the sample have uh, the sample information and the bibliographic reference. With the bibliographic reference, you can click in see more to, um, to open a new tab with the uh, reference with uh, the site locate this reference. For example, I can that this. I use that. But I return to our data and the button calib calibrate. And with you can calibrate the sample and the system connects to the calib program to perform the calibration. If the sample belongs to a country in the northern hemisphere, uh, it will automatically apply in cal 
and in the southern hemisphere it will apply isoch cal both from uh, 20 2020 uh, for the marine samples and uh, delta r uh, don't have implemented anything but in the future i i hope uh, more information about the marine samples and this is button this button is to report uh, a sample if you if you like a report or to collection to collection is the form uh, that you save the sample like a favorite um if in top menu you search my collections and in my collections you see my collection or my records if you record if you collaborate with the archive data you can create collection but every every user register has a default collection to save the samples that uh, interest if you want to create more collections you must make a donation of at least uh, one dollar to the project through paypal once you have done this you have access to create unlimited collections like this create collection um the collection is used uh, like uh favorite samples for you and you uh, uh, see the same uh, characteristics that in search but you save uh, your favorite samples and you can copy uh, that you chose the samples and you copy to any uh, Word, for example microsoft war or LibreOffice. So anyway, um, and in my collections, you can then my records of your records. This collection is created when a user makes a collaboration to the database. Here you can see the status of your samples, rejected, pending, or active. If it is active, it will appear. It it will the, the samples appears to the searches made made by any user in the database and to collaborate to archeodata in the uh, user menu this collaborate and for collaborate you should uh, fill this configuration it is advanced configuration if you don't uh, fill this configuration in in red for example this the change have been saved if you want to add records to archeodata complete the fields in red if you don't complete the fields in collaborate uh, to add records to the database you must provide your complete information in the advanced configuration section this is uh, principally uh, like um filter with with the users that uh, collaborate with archeodata but in this part the the collaboration consists in four steps a bibliographic data if you like to add a bibliographic source uh, archeodata connects to to crossref api for uh, take the information of a DOI of uh, is of the IS, ISBN. Well, you chose one. You chose a, a archaeological site. Uh, each sample you enter must be linked on archaeological site. If the site uh, of your samples don't exist, you can't create a site well this is continue and here you register your samples with this button you can uh, and well finally archaeodata is a database 
for a fast, efficient, and standardized consultation of radiocarbon dating records uh, from archaeological sites in Latin America, mainly Mexico, in order that various projects around the world working in Mexico can have access to this radiocarbon data, which can serve their own research and also for researchers to collaborate and sharing the information to retrieve from the various archaeological excavations. Archaeology is currently facing the need to create database due to the large amount of information uh, we have. So uh, thank you very much for, for your attention and for uh, this space for this presentation.